What is up geeks? So I'm bringing you guys another Funko Pop Vinyl review and this time it is R2D2. I want to give my brother a big shout out for getting this from me for Christmas. Now if you guys haven't checked out my last Pop Vinyl review it was Nine Numb from The Force Awakens and that guy is really cool so please check that out if you haven't. So let's take a look here at the packaging. So we have a nice package. This is a classic Star Wars packaging with the blue here and this is number 31 in the series. We have a nice look at R2 there. Here on the side as well. And then on the back, we have a nice wave of figures here. I actually have Wicket, who I'll be reviewing in the future. Jar Jar Binks, he's actually pretty hard to get, surprisingly. I know you're probably thinking like, why would anyone want Jar Jar Binks? Well, he's kind of rare, so that's why people want him. He actually looks pretty cool for a pop vinyl, I have to say. And the classic Admiral Akbar. If you guys haven't seen my F Force Awakens pop vinyl review for him, please check that out. Uh, they're pretty similar with the sculpting, but he has his classic suit there. Queen Amidal, who's also rare. Lando Calrissian, who I'm dying to have. I really, really want to get Lando, but he's also very rare. These three in particular, they go for at least at least 40 or 50 and these things, you know, they, they sell for 10 bucks retail, so that's a lot of profit right there. But uh, I'm hoping to get either one of these three in the future, especially Lando. He's one of my favorite Star Wars characters. So today we have R2-D2. So let's unbox R2 and take a close look at his sculpt work. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got R2 out of the package, and I have to say, R2 is really cool as a pop vinyl. Not just because of the odd shape that he's in, because, you know, he's not as circular because of the pop vinyl look. It's more squarish, but look at this. That's really cool. You can't really even, you know, you, you wouldn't have guessed that in the package, and wow, they really pulled off the bobble feature with R2 here. So you have his legs which stabilize his head, which bobbles. Very cool. So you could even have him posing like this, how he normally does when he's strolling around. You can even adjust it like that. At first I thought it was just adjustable like that, but then I noticed that it bobbles. It goes up and down, goes forward and back. Really cool. So this is definitely a fun little toy for kids as well. I'm sure they'd have fun playing around with this bobblehead feature, but it's very nice. I really like this a lot, but let's take a close look at all the paint work and sculpt work here we got. So very nice, very intricate here. They went really down to the minute details for his suit, or not suit, what am I saying? His look. Yeah, all the little details, all the paint work looks very nice. They did a good job on this figure. Just like the BB-8, the, the head is kind of square, but um, I don't mind it. It kind of goes better with all the pop finals, so I understand why they made that decision. I really like this R2, I have to say. Very, very cool, and I think out of all the bobbleheads, this is a very neat feature. I'm still kind of in awe of it. It's very cool. I don't even know how they kind of did this. It's very uh, creative. Very nice. I wouldn't even thought of that, so... Nice. Okay, I could just <laughs> keep doing this all day, but anyway guys, I hope you liked that review. Sorry if I got a little carried away with this. Uh, also, just to mention, this stand here, it's removable for all the pop vinyls, but this is the basic Star Wars stand. And, you know, just to explain why each pop vinyl has to be a bobblehead, I do this every now and then, but for those who are new to my videos, each Star Wars bobblehead uh, figure has to be a bobblehead because Hasbro owns the rights to the action figure so if it didn't have the bobble feature it would technically be an action figure and that would you know that would be a problem with copyright and all that so that's why Funko decided to make it a bobblehead but anyway I hope you guys like this review please stay tuned for more reviews next I'll be reviewing Han Solo and also the Walmart or Walgreens exclusive of the Imperial Guard so Stay tuned for that, and please check out my other Funko Pop Vinyl reviews. But until next time, embrace, express, and enjoy yourself. May the Force be with you always, my young Padawan.